Welcome back to a new episode of Master Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can replace this really ugly app default icon that goes when you're creating an app with a proper iOS app icon in Xcode. So I'll show you actually how to create the icon and then how to set it up as well. So without further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing we need to do is obviously have a, lo uh, a logo or an icon. So I basically use Canva to do it. And as you can see here, I just have this very basic icon that I'll be using. So the app that we're creating is an app that will show you the frequency of a radio channel. Very simple. So basically all I'll do, and you don't even need the high quality photo, obviously it's better, but just for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do anything. So basically I want this to be my icon. So I'll basically just save it by just taking a very normal screenshot. And then what I will do is I will download this app or there is this app that I'm using already. So let's just go to the app store. There we go. And this is the app that I use to create this, uh, but you can use any other app as well. But basically we're gonna go to the search bar and we're gonna type in icon, set creator. And basically that's the one that I use. So what is the purpose of this app? Well, basically if you go to in your project over here, if you go to assets.xc assets and then go to app icon, you realize that you actually need to put a whole bunch of photos in order for your app to be approved on the app store and in order for it to work. So obviously you're not going to be changing each single photo into 40 by 40, 60 by 60, 50 and 87. It's going to take away so much time. So that's why I use this app icon set creator. You download it, you open it, it's very simple to use. Basically, it will open this for you. And all you need to do from this point is basically just drag the app icon that you're using, just like this. And I'll drag it over here. You can see it's filled. I'll click on go. And then basically you, set, you choose where you wanna save it. Um, so I'm just like, I have a folder here called iOS that I save all my icons. So I'm gonna do that and I'll click on open. And now if I go to this, folder iOS app icons you see that you it has all my app icons including the ones that we have just created so let's go ahead and actually set it into our app so first of all I'm going to change this into a list rather than icons so it's just easier to select and so on um, so let's expand this a little bit and I'm going to set it up as a list there we go and you can see these are the ones that we're going to be using. So the easiest way to do this is first of all, minimize this just like that. And then I'm going to basically select it from here to there and I'm going to drag and drop. Now straight away, you can see that some of them get filled up automatically for whatever reason, some of them don't. And so we just need to drag them and drop them to that proper to the proper place basically. So I'm just gonna drag this one and I'm gonna drop it over here. You can see it works. This one, I think this one is over there, over here, like this. Um, some of them are not in the right place. So for example, right now we are missing on one, two, three, four icons that we don't know where to put them in. So basically they do exist for whatever reason, they just don't get auto filled. So I'm just gonna select them and I'm gonna try one by one where it is. So obviously it doesn't belong here. So this one worked. Let's have a look at that one. That one worked. So we've got two left. Oh, one left. All right, so just a heads up, go from bottom to top, it's better. So now if I just expand this, you can see that all of the app icons are filled and you can even see that over here it's filled up as well. So what I'll do now is I'll actually run this app on my iPhone 
and you should be able to see this change into the app icon rather than this once it just starts to actually build okay um so as you can see we do have our app icon here set and over here it's also set up and that's it that's all you need to do to set up an app icon for your iphone or sorry for your app and it will also work automatically once you put it on the app store thanks so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this episode please make sure you do leave a like and a subscribe or leave a comment if you didn't and tell me how i can improve see you in the next time